What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tyson the Gypsy King Fury, Big John Fury, and Alexander Usyk. Get this. John Fury was asked by Boxing King Media, what's next for Tyson? And he made it clear that there is only one man the Gypsy King should be facing. He said, quote, it's up to Tyson what he wants to do. There's only one fight out there for him. It's got to be the rabbit from the Ukraine, Usyk. But he ran off to Saudi Arabia for a few more quid. Those are the words of Big John Fury. And let me counterpunch. First of all, even... John is acknowledging there's not any other place to go for Tyson is Usyk, but Usyk, you know, Tyson Fury came back to the sport to fight the winner of Joshua Usyk. He waited to, until he saw the fight, viewed it, immediately came on social media and said that was a piece of garbage. I'm going to uh, take back the honor of the 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 UK. I'm going to avenge uh, that loss for the UK for the British people. Right? You guys remember that, and that's where everything spawned off. Okay, he wanted to get the fight in December against uh, Alexander Usyk, but Usyk was saying that he's recovering, so. He then tried to get offer the fight to Anthony Joshua and offered him 40% uh, of the 60% purse, which they were in negotiations. Tyson lost his cool. Then he decided to go right back to the same management company, 258, and um, made a deal with Derek Chisora and then fought him. And we haven't seen him since. Okay, that's been in December. That's Tyson Fury. This whole time, a lot of wasted time where nothing really seemed to be happening, actually. You know, time and time went. They were talking about dates. They were trying to discuss where it's going to be. Saudi, Saudi Arabia was on the table, as we know. And then, you know, Tyson Fury said no. OK. And um, then they went to the UK and then we've seen a lot of voided stuff and what Tyson wouldn't do and this, that, and the other. And uh, Usyk pretty much sealed the deal with accepting 30% of that pie. And Tyson Fury then uh, came up with another excuse. So saying all that, and then Usyk walked. Okay. Now saying all that, retorting what John Fury was saying about, you know, Usyk just wanted a few more quids in, in Saudi. Well, yeah, I guess so, because he decided to take a pay cut, obviously, in the UK. You know, um, Wembley, it would have done huge numbers. It would have probably broke another record, you know, but so I don't understand why it was where it was at. You know, I guess it's better to be a god on your own island versus, you know, uh, a servant in another um, island or another territory, right? So, so I'm thinking that may be it for Tyson, but I just don't really know what was going on. I think Tyson should really just let his management, his promoters, his lawyers, his team do everything for him, okay? Um, tell his team what his terms would be and let that be it. Because the social media part showed Tyson and showed everybody that Tyson has no business at the negotiation table at all. He's too unstable to be competent, you know, because it's either he's scared of losing or he's scared of the challenge or he just doesn't know what the hell's going on or all the above. I don't know. But. According to John, his father, there's only one fight out there, but there was always only one fight out there. See, the Wilder Four and the uh, Andy Ruiz and all that stuff, those things didn't even, that, that shouldn't even shook anyone. 
or moved anyone if you're retired. When he fought, knocked out Dillian White in the sixth round at Wembley Stadium, breaking a record, the record, 93 or 94,000 people, there was no need to come back to professional boxing, especially when you're retired again. Okay, so I don't get why he decided to come back anyhow. But if he was, make sure it's for a good reason, the reason you said you came back. And that reason was fighting Usyk because Usyk beat up Joshua for the second time and he promised to whoop up on the little rabbit from the Ukraine. Okay, so it just made everybody super suspicious when you couldn't get a damn fight done when the man has decided to lay all everything out to you with the money and all that. And then you just couldn't do that one thing. Like someone's ego can't be that big. And if it is his ego, let him sit down or retire. Because there's nobody that fucking good or that that important to just demand all these different types of things. You know what I mean? So I think Tyson, if he wants it done, he needs to just shut the fuck up. Like he said he was going to do, but he couldn't help himself. He said, I'm not getting into any negotiations. And that's exactly what he did. You know, and now Big John Fury is saying, now there's only one. And John holds some type of weight. He's the father. So either Tyson has told him that. That's why he's fight, having a hard time finding a fight. Well, there you go. You fought all the bums that you could possibly be fight. Like you, well, not really all of them. You still got, I get Kabayel and Mamu Char and, you know, you got some people out there, but seriously, people are getting tired of that. And I predict if he takes another fight, okay, off the strength of not fighting Usyk, because he has to give you something. See, Tyson Fury, if he fights another mediocre, subpar opponent, people will not follow him. And they probably won't even look at that fight like they should. You know, you'll have some shit like the Otto Violin or the Tom Swartz um, following, okay? And I think that was pretty much people really didn't know Tyson in the States, but I think he does really need to fight Usyk. And, it, and it's really, it's just really slapping him in the face. It's slapping him. It's slapping Frank Warren. And it's slapping uh, Big John Fury. Get the fight done. You guys tell me what you think of John Fury's statement about Tyson Fury's next opponent. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch.